So this is the median nerve with the butterfly. So the median nerve I've got outlined here just with a bit of gel on the, on the palm. We are going to look at the median nerve through the forearm, uh, up through the antecubital fossa and down into the carpal tunnel. Now, left is going to be on the left side of the screen here. First thing we want to do is we're going to take our preset. We're going to go to a musculoskeletal preset. And we're going to decrease our depth a little bit. Smear the gel around here. So here's the median nerve. The median nerve is the hypochoic, well, it's the fascicular structure in the middle of the screen here. We're going to follow it down into the carpal tunnel. I'm going to make sure that we've got enough gel. Here we go. Here's our median nerve here. We're going to run down. The median nerve is going to drop down. And when it drops down, we want to wag our transducer to look back up at it. That's going to be the easiest way to see it, to make sure that we get good reflections off the nerve itself. But then we're going to follow the median nerve proximal. Here it's going to go radial. It's going to drop just deep to flexor carpi radialis, goes underneath the flexor pollicis muscle belly, and then moves medial to lie between the deep and superficial compartments. So here the median nerve is, is lying between the deep and superficial compartments. At this point, the just deep to the median nerve, you can see a pulsating structure. The anterior interosseous nerve is just to the left or radial to that artery. In the anterior interosseous nerve, we can follow it proximal. And it joins up with the median nerve here in the medial aspect of the proximal forearm. The median nerve is going to go um, superficial again. So now we're wagging our transducer again so we can visualize the median nerve and then follow it up to the level of the brachial artery. Here is the median nerve. I'm going to make it a little bit more superficial. Adjacent to the brachial artery. And it stays relatively the same in terms of its echostructure and size all the way up to the cords of the plexus. So again, we'll follow it distal. Now it's going to descend deep to pronate arteries. It's dropping down. We're going to adjust our depth. We're going to follow it down here. It meets up with the artery again. And then it rises a little bit to become the defining structure in the form between the superficial and deep compartments. Rises superficial again. Gonna adjust the screen a little bit. I'm gonna follow it 
here it is coming between the FDS and FCR. And then we're going to go into the carpal tunnel here. In the carpal tunnel, I do give it a bit more depth again. And if we look at the nerve now on the long axis here, we can see that it is diving. And accordingly, what we need to do is make it look flat so we can have an excellent visualization of the nerve itself. If I rotate it here, it flex the wrist a little bit. And then after it exits the carpal tunnel, here's the edge of the carpal tunnel. After we exit, it divides into its digital branches.